and I'm the food editor of Yummy.ph. Do you love your chicken dishes that are super creamy? If you do, then you're going to love this recipe that I'm going to make today, the chicken pasta. This is a classic chicken dish, and it's actually an adaptation of Spain's pastel di polo. Pastel di polo is basically a chicken pie with a buttery crust on top. For this recipe, we're taking it super simple, and we are not going to put a buttery crust on top, but we are going to make the super creamy chicken filling on the inside. Now this chicken filling is super tasty and super delicious, and it's not just because we use evaporated milk in the filling. We also use cream of mushroom soup. Doesn't that sound delicious? I think so too. Before we proceed, we have a question that was asked in our Bibinka Malaket recipe that I showed you guys last time. They asked, can I use canned coconut cream or are they supposed to use fresh kakangata? For that recipe, we actually use canned coconut cream, but you can use either canned or fresh kakangata, but you have to make sure that you're using cream, not milk, but you have to use coconut cream, okay? Because we need the thickness and all of those solids from the coconut that's going to create the crispy latik that we want on top of our bibingka malagkit. Do you guys have other questions? Don't forget you guys can just shout out in the comment section so that we can see it and we can answer it in the next video that we're going to post. Let's start with our chicken pastel recipe. Always season your meat with salt and pepper. It makes a delicious difference. Don't be afraid to add more oil to prevent sticking. But kung luluto inyo to para sa isang handaan, don't forget that you can put a buttery crust on top so that it feels and looks extra festive. But malapit na ang Christmas, so we hope you try this recipe at home. Don't forget to visit us on yummy.ph and of course subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of our recipe videos. 
feel free to leave a comment, a suggestion, or questions if you have any about this recipe or any of our other recipes that we have posted. We'd love to hear from you. You can also visit us on Facebook on yummy.ph Pinoy Cooking Club. You can post your photos there because we'd love to see your photos of our recipes. As always, thanks for visiting and for watching our videos. Until the next recipe, bye!